Transformers reviews, tech and the news, whatever else I use as a muse. Hit subscribe, I appreciate the views, influences, interests on YouTube. Hey, what's going on? This is Influence, and today I have Legacy, Evolution, Beachcomber, and Paradise Parakeet. <laughs> He's up there on his shoulder. This off the bat, my initial thoughts are it's a really great figure you see the covers in the back that's one thing that i'm gonna highlight later on uh they seem to be listening sometimes i don't know what rhyme or reason but this is a solid solid figure has and i mean solid as in great and solid as in feel it has these covers i don't know if they would have put them on there uh you know, maybe last year, year before last, I'm not sure they would have covered up this. They would have left it hollow. Uh, just just everything. It even feels like it has die cast in it. And I'm almost 100% sure it does not, besides the screws and the pins. But anyway, let's get into this review. So as usual, I'm going to go over the accessories. We got the book. Book is fine. It did its job. This isn't that hard to transform when i first opened it i thought it was hard but it was not and you have the box you got some artwork of course you got some real shots back here shows what it does what it do and it has some smart things going on with the transformation and everything other two accessories is the parakeet which pretty nice and it looks pretty nicely painted it, i don't know if you can see that is i has his eye he looks looks like a bird painted the colors it's rubberized so it's flimsy it's not gonna break on you i think that's cool and you have the gun which i have one my first gripe is why not paint the handle black i'm sure it's because they're afraid it wouldn't fit in his hand they should have painted this black and the handle black because you'll see why in car mode or buggy mode or whatever mode so you'll you'll see why i say that and here's the, the figure see his head sculpt i mean it's a great head sculpt it does have some chip in it looks like on the visor which is painted silver you got the paint here nice got the paint there i mean it, it's beachcomber and it looks like beachcomber it's probably the best mainline representation i've seen of this character so let's get uh, him compared to some figures. So keep him in the middle. First, I'll bring in Masterpiece just for giggles because, you know, I know we all know it's not fair to compare Masterpiece to the main line, but you can see just how close he is. He, he's not that far apart. And another thing I didn't mention, he has rubber wheels, which I mean, I'm not sure if they've been doing rubber wheels, but on a lot of figures, even Studio Series, they don't have rubber wheels. Which, speaking of Studio Series, we got Studio Series Hot Rod. I know most of the people that in on the lines have Hot Rod because it's probably one of the best figures they've made in the last four years. And no, he doesn't have rubber wheels. And then I just got this, but this is not that new. Let me move uh, Masterpiece. And point blank. I think that's point blank or is that his, his target master anyway you see him compared so he's a mini bot and he looks like a mini bot i don't really have any other mini bots to compare him to let's get into articulation so he has his head his head goes down not much up not that much it is on a ball joint can go side to side somewhat and it can spin all the way around can it spin all the way around it can, but it's it's hitting back here, so it gets caught up, and you got to move it kind of back to get it out of there. So, I mean, you can get it there if you want the head up, but if you want to spin it even farther, you got to push the head down a little bit, then it gets there. I mean, you don't want to spin all the way in the back anyhow. So, he does have a shoulder joint. It looks like it would go at least 90 degrees, but this tire here... I don't know if they, they could have made the tire go down a little bit, but it, I mean, it's not a big deal. But you get that articulation. 
arm all the way around tolerances are really good they have no no ratchets though but they're still really good you got an elbow about that much a little bit more than 90. he has his hand he has a bicep swivel first and then he has his hand that moves but it's like kind of in encased in here so it's hard to move it waist spins all the way around move his his arms out the way because his tires will hit his arms but he can't get the full splits and doesn't have any skirts to get out of the way so he gets the full hurdles as well got a thigh swivel up here built in and it's a mushroom joint and you see the little hole that they have to have for the mushroom joint and he gets he gets 90 degrees on the knee now this is where maybe this isn't good but it's good i don't want them to get rid of it but if you move the flap that covers up the space then he can get more than 90 degrees if you need that for some reason and you can try to cover it up but i'm fine i'm fine with the 90 uh, i'd rather him keep the space filler than anything else foot you get a rocker that much you don't get nothing going that way and his heel spur is does go down a little bit and up it doesn't it goes up right there so it's kind of out it, he does stand weird because of it it, it kind of protrudes farther than the toe uh but other than that if you you can compensate by moving the knee a little bit back so you can get stand straight up but yeah i think that's weird uh let me see if i can get it better maybe it's me In reality, he should. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a little bit better, but it still protrudes a little bit farther than the foot. So if you have it standing straight up, he does move forward a little bit, which that's a you know that's a nitpick. I think I showed his. He can hold his gun five millimeter peg, either here, or he can keep it on the side if you want. On there like that, or. You can put it in here like this, keep it, and it all looks dumb. And then he has his bird that he ha he can put up here on his shoulder. You can have it there. You can have it on his arm right here because it fits in that five millimeter peg space. And then you can have it resting on his arm like that if you want. And that's it. So let's get into transformation. So you want to move this leg spur, this leg spur, <laughs> the heel spur all the way down. Make sure this stuff is straight. Move his arms out just to get it out the way. I kind of put everything together. Now it's going to come apart probably and make sure you put these two things together like that. And see it came apart already. So you don't really have to worry about it too much. But pull this out like that, flip this up, then you can flip these out of here. So then you want to flip this over here like this and make sure this stuff stays together. And this is together. Now you can push these seats down, which I think is nice. You got some seats. Um, leave this up like this. Like push this all the way up so it be out the way and you can leave this move these seats down like that now the arms they have a tab there that tabs into there and this tab here tabs into there but the thing is you got to kind of like move it around it make sure it gets into the side up here and then Put it into that space there same thing here move this over try to make sure that tab gets into there and kind of put that into the space then you kind of move it around it gets the the waist and everything is trying to jumbled around so you gotta kind of move it so it's together and then you can move these parts just tab them 
in. Those are pretty tight. They kind of keep everything together and make sure these seats are down. They will come up, but I mean, they put seats in the car. It's cool. And you're almost done. This done went in by itself, but they tell you to put that in last. There's a peg there that goes into that hole. It just pegs in like that. It just keeps it all together. And there you go. And then you can take his gun, which this is a gripe for me. The post is too long. You stick it in there, but it doesn't go far enough. So it's loose. Unless I'm doing something wrong. Like you have these T. You see how the parallel one and then the one up and down. It forms like a T. It's supposed to go in there because you see that space at the top if you can see it. But this peg stops it from going all the way in and staying on tight because there's only so much room in here. So if this peg was shorter, it would plug in here better. Uh, let me see. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way and it comes off. But there you go. And there you go <laughs> when I was just saying it. Yeah, that's that's probably my biggest gripe. If you want the grill on, it's hard to stay on and it won't. It won't go and that's why you would have to shave this down in order to get these in tighter at the bottom unless i'm doing something wrong i don't think i am though i mean uh, it's pretty self-explanatory so that's the negative the main negative of this car mode is the fact that the grill i like the grill on and it won't stay on then you have this, you can stick that back here if you want. And have him ride in there. And also you can take his gun and it's a cut out. It has a little rounded cut out that you can stick on his bar like that. And there you go. Now I like this, it's not that bad. I, I, I don't like the way this looks in the front though. If it was flat, it probably would have been better than to make that little gimmick to make him have a grill or make the grill uh, fit better. And it's pretty nice. You got back here, you can see his head, but you can't really tell it's a head. Got the wheels, they are rubber. Has his lights up front. Would have a grill if it fit right. Got all this stuff, got seats, I like that. Again, this is like really tight too. You do that. So it may eat up this plastic. This plastic isn't the best. But yeah, I really wish this fit in here like like it's supposed to. So let's go back to the beginning. <laughs> go back to his robot mode. Very easy. It's easy, but it's a fun transformation. I do like that. Get these out of here. Get these out of here. I just split them. Might as well. Move this back. This comes open automatically, but you should really take this, open it, and then move it. Move that like that. You can push all this up into the back. Go like that. Move this down. Actually, you can move this down first, because then it's easier to get into the proper position. You don't hit nothing back here. Throw his gun in his hand and throw his birdie on his shoulder and there we go. So if you enjoyed this video, I uh, thank you. Please leave me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, share it, do all that good stuff. I'm still trying to hit 2000. <laughs> I know it's, it's, it's a rough battle, I guess, you know, I guess because I'm not just Transformers, people don't subscribe, but I really wish if you're watching this to subscribe and get me over that threshold. <laughs> it's not it's not that far away. All right. So I appreciate all the viewership and I'll get up with you in another one. Peace. You know, life ain't no, life ain't no, life ain't no. As long as you alive, you can give another try and take it real high if you want.